welcome back to the Blue Hub YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at sales transactions and how they correlate between the deal and zero integration. So we're going to walk through a sale today, have a look at the financial transactions that are generated and also have a look at these going across to zero. So first of all, let's start by creating a sale and we'll walk through this process one by one. So we can start off with our sale by putting in our customer in here and we can enter in our um, order. So we can just type in, um, we can see what we have in stock. So let's see what we have here. So we have some gloves. We can enter in our quantity, our sales price and our relevant tax rule. Once we're happy with our sales order, we can go ahead and select authorize. Now, when you select authorize, that's when the first transaction that will happen between Dia and Zero. What's posted when you authorize the sale is any prepayments or any charges that you may have taken up front will be posted. This is only relevant if you've used a quote process and added a customer credit or prepayment at the bottom, okay? So if we go ahead and actually do that, if we um, add our product back in here and then enter in our gloves and we go ahead and click save, and make sure we've got our quantity in there. When we add our customer credit or prepayment, we can choose our, our bank account that this is going to. Customer deposit, and we can say £50. Okay, so they've paid a deposit of £50 against these £140 gloves. What we can do now is we can then select authorise, and then we're then through to our next stage. If we go across to financials, we can now see our first transaction has been generated and that is debiting our bank account and crediting our prepayments account, okay? And that is for a total of 50 pounds. We can then process our order and when we authorize our actual order, no additional transactions will be generated at this stage, okay? So we authorize that, we can then go across to our financials and everything's still the same. When we pick and pack our orders, no transactions are generated again at this stage. So we can go ahead and auto pack, uh, auto pick our order in here. I think I've got a slight error there, so I'm just going to refresh my page. And I'm going to auto pick and I'm going to authorize and my pack is completed, so my pick and my pack, financials, no additional transactions are generated, okay? So when, when we decide to ship our orders, so we go ahead and ship these out, we can put in our carrier, our tracking number, and our package, and once we select authorize, that's when our cost of goods sold transactions are going to be generated, okay? So when I go ahead and select authorize, this is gonna post a journal to our cost of goods sold account, and it's gonna debit our cost of goods sold and credit our inventory account. So if I go ahead and select authorize, and then go to financials, you'll see an additional account um, transaction has been generated and it's debiting our cost of goods sold account and crediting our inventory control account. Okay, please ignore my 090, my chart accounts aren't correctly mapped, but it will debit the cogs and credit your inventory control. Okay. Next, when you've got your invoice, this is when another financial transaction is generated. So two different transactions are actually going to happen when you process the invoice. You're going to have a journal for your invoice and you're going to have a journal for any tax that is part of that invoice as well. So when you authorise the sales invoice, it's going to debit accounts receivable and credit your nominated sales account. For your tax, it's going to debit accounts receivable and it's going to credit your nominated tax um, liability code. Okay, so once I go ahead and select authorize, I'm happy with everything on my invoice. You can see it's found my prepayment from earlier on. So I'm actually going to say yes, I do want to allocate that. I'm going to select my prepayment of £50 and I'm going to add and save. That will then deduct £50 from the total amount and then we can go ahead and um, see this invoice has been marked as invoiced. Okay. 
If we go across to our financials again, you can see we have a few more transactions that have been generated. So we have a couple in here that we have, um, we have our first transaction for our invoice where it has debited our accounts receivable and it has credited our sales account, as mentioned earlier, for £140. Corresponding to that, we also have our prepayment that we had earlier. So that is debited our bank account and credited this from our prepayments account that we earlier pre-assigned. OK, and you can see that above here. So we debited our prepayments, we credited AR, we've then credited prepayments and posted this to our bank account. We've then got our final amount of our tax and here we have debited our accounts receivable account as mentioned and this will credit our tax liability account for £28. Okay, So that's an overview of the transactions when going for a sale so I'm going to go ahead and save now and I can go across to my synchronization log and we can view what this looks like of these transactions being posted across to zero. So we see we have a couple of movements in here. So first of all, we have our cost of goods sold journal that we can see in here. Sorry, we actually have a couple. We have our sinking of our prepayment, first of all, which is pending. We have our sinking of our cost of goods sold of £67.52. Cost of goods sold is, of course, going to depend on your costing method in the system, but it's going to take the first in, first out cost and post that to this invoice, so £67.52. We have our syncing of our sales invoice, it's synced our product, and it's also exported the payment of £50 that we took for our prepayment. When we go ahead and click start synchronization, that's going to synchronize these transactions for us and send them over to zero for further processing. Okay. Thank you for watching this short video today, just on an overview of sales transactions. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them down below. And this is going to be part one of a series of videos. We're going to cover purchasing, stock and um, production. So please feel free to continue watching the rest of the videos in this playlist. Thank you.